this self-improvement journey and you going for revenge or to for validation bro it's not gonna last bro because people know that you're going for validation if you're going for that you know and they will do things just to keep you with a lower mind state that you're not growing you know what i'm saying they will say certain things or they won't come around you they won't be around you to think you be being bad but the whole time you're growing and elevating so on my journey like i had got into this like a lot of hurt a lot of pain like me healing from that bro like i really don't do this for nobody else but for myself you know what i'm saying i don't grow i don't heal i don't work out for nobody but myself you know what i'm saying i work out because i know that's what i have to do for me to feel better you know what i'm saying because my body so once you recognize that bro your mind bro first of all people gonna be all around you bro it's all type of thoughts all type of different different angles you know what i'm saying people try to hold you back and give you limited ideas but whole time, bro, you got to take control of your mind and believe in yourself. Believe in your ideas, bro. Don't believe in nothing outside of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't rely on nothing outside of yourself for, for information. You know what I'm saying? Now, internet's cool and all, bro. But most 10, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 times, bro, the best information is from God, from within. And then, bro, so when you're on your journey, bro, don't try to do get revenge, bro. Because like, if you're doing this for an ex, bro, you're doing through a heartbreak, and you're trying to, like, get your body right, you're trying to get your mind right, you're trying to... You know what I'm saying? Change your life, bro. And you trying to validate, get validation from her, bro. She's never going to give you validation, bro. You know why? Because you have outgrown her, first of all. And she does not like that. You know what I'm saying? Or he does not like that. You know what I'm saying? So you can't go back to where you grew from. You know what I'm saying? You can't go backwards. You can't go back from where you grew from. You know what I'm saying? So you got to continue to grow and continue to elevate your mind and believe in yourself, first of all. Like, if you believe in yourself... If you believe in yourself, bro, you ain't gonna need nobody else to tell you that you that, you know what I'm saying, or that you deserve that. You won't seek validation, bro. Like, we seek validation in different ways, bro. We might not even recognize. Some people seek validation on social media. Some people seek validation from their family, from their friends, you know, from their loved ones, bro. But at the end of the day, bro, seeking validation is not gonna give you nothing, bro. It's not gonna get you nothing. Like, people, people truly respect you, bro, when you don't seek validation, you know what I'm saying? When you don't need, like, you, you, if you keep, you're going to get addicted to validation, bro. You get addicted to that feeling, bro, to the excitement. Like, when you go to parties, bro, it's kind of like party, bro. You, you don't be addicted to the party, bro. You be addicted to that to that feeling, to that excitement. You know what I'm saying? To that that feeling in that room. And, bro, to be honest, bro, that feeling ain't that good. If you really, like, deep down look at it, bro, like, that feeling don't be good a lot of times. Like, especially if you're not already on your shit, bro, and you're not, like, you not on your goals, bro. You go party, bro. You 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 got a million problems coming back home, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta really stick and stay true to your grind, bro. And don't allow nobody to don't don't put your success because somebody did something to you. That could be um it could elevate you to go do that. You know what I'm saying? But don't allow that to be the motivation. It it can bring you some motivation, but don't allow that to be the main motivation. The main motivation should be you. And the love for yourself. So, you know what I'm saying? Because when I started doing that, bro, like, I caught myself, like, coming back home. Like, bro, you go, if you out, if you growing, bro, the, the place you was at, bro, you probably nine out of ten times outgrew that that place unless the people and the, the person or the whoever you, you know you're trying to get away from, you're trying to grow from, whatever situation, that situation didn't grow as you grew. You probably outgrew that. You need a new situation. You need a new friend, bro. You can't go backwards. You got to continue forward, straight-minded, you know what I'm saying? You got to continue digging forward and continue going forward and continue going towards chasing your dreams and your goals. Because if you chase your dreams and your goals, bro, you're going to end up getting your goals. Like, that's what I truly believe. Like, if you continue, you got faith, and you believe in yourself, bro, I do believe you can get your goals. You just got to not allow anybody or anyone to have more trust that your goals ain't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Just listen to this, listen to this. If, you got to make sure you believe in your goals way more than anyone believes that you can't reach your goals. You know what I'm saying? You got to believe that you can do your goals more than anyone can believe that you won't do your goals. Because once you believe that, bro, it's unstoppable. Bro. Like, like, anything somebody say, you're not going to, it ain't even going to resonate with you, bro. You're going to be like, damn, like, is he trying to limit me, bro? And then, like, the people just believing in you, and they're going to start coming around, bro. You can start resonating on that frequency. You're going to tell, like, on frequency, a lot of, everything is energy. And a lot of people are vibrating on how low, low, low levels, bro. They vibrating in the root sacral, you know what I'm saying, the root sacral chakra, you know what I'm saying, solar plexus chakra, the first three chakras, and you start elevating and 
ascending, bro, you start elevating to higher chakra level, high new levels, bro. Real life, it's like a video game, bro. Y'all ever heard of Jacob's Ladder, bro? Like, that's what it is. Like, you see it coming, it's like it's coming up, it's like a ladder coming up your spine. You know what I'm saying? Connecting you to, connecting to source, connecting you to God, connecting you to the universe, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? But like, you got to really recognize that because the higher, the more, the better you level, the more you level up, bro, the, the, the better the, uh, the better the, uh, <laughs> Like the, the last final, the final ball is gonna get bigger and bigger, you know what I'm saying? Like a video game. So, you gotta really elevate your mind and prepare yourself for these new attacks because it's gonna be even more attacks. It's gonna be coming through all type of ways. It might come through your family, it might come through your friends, it might come through your loved one, bro. It might come through your kids, bro. It's that deep, bro. But you gotta really stay focused and locked in with yourself and understand what's going on. But if y'all like this video, man, like, comment, subscribe. See y'all on the next video, 444. Like, comment, subscribe. See y'all next video. I love y'all. 444.